So welcome back to Long Stocks. Today I'll be talking about Snapchat earnings and what I think of Snapchat as a long term. As you can see, I called Snapchat out on my Twitter today when the market just opened. And now I do want to say that this is just my personal opinion and I'm not at all a financial advisor. So as we can see, the Snap stock actually rocketed after the third quarter results smashed the revenue estimates. So Snapchat is just a social media company that reported an adjusted profit of one cent per share on revenue of six hundred and seventy-eight million dollars, and Wall Street actually expected an adjusted loss of five cents per share and a revenue of five hundred and fifty point five million dollars. The revenue actually has jumped fifty-two percent compared to last year. Now we can see that Snapchat actually reported a daily active users of two hundred and forty-nine million. Up eighteen percent compared to last year. We also know that the company actually initially projected users in the range of two hundred and forty-two and two hundred forty-four million. However, analysts actually expected two hundred and forty-three million. And with the comments on the earnings release, the chief executive Evan Spiegel actually said that we're excited about the growth of our business in the third quarter, as we continue to make long-term investments in our future. They also said. The adaptation of augmented reality is happening faster than we had previously anticipated, and we are working together as a team to execute on the many opportunities in front of us. So, actually, prior to the earnings report, Snapchat stock was already up seventy percent on the year, as we can see. So, they currently have a market cap of forty one for two billion. And I do see Snapchat actually doubling in market cap very easily in the future. Now, currently, Snapchat is a relatively new company, so in twenty sixteen to about twenty eighteen, their cash flow was not too fantastic. However, in recent years, you can see that their cash flow has been doing better, and I do expect their cash flow to be positive in a few years to come. So, Snapchat is a social media app that allows. Friends and family to connect by exchanging photos, also known as snaps, or even videos known as stories, and chat. Now it's important to take note that Snapchat actually earns substantially all of its revenue from advertising. Now Snapchat also has a feature called Shrieks. Now as you can see on the picture above, it just shows a number right beside your friend's chat. So with the Shrieks, in order to maintain it, you and your friend has to be sending snaps each other daily. I believe this serves as a need for people to be using Snapchat daily. Now, as we can see, ninety-eight percent of their revenue actually comes from advertising. Now, Snapchat actually posted a net loss of three hundred and twenty-six million dollars on a four hundred and fifty-four point two million dollars of revenue in quarter two. Now, the net loss in the second quarter was significantly larger than the two hundred and fifty-five point two million net loss posted. On the same three months period a year ago, the revenue also only grew seventeen percent. Now, as we can see, for quarter three, they actually had a revenue jump of fifty-two percent compared to last year, and even announced an adjusted profit of one cent per share compared to the expected five cents per share loss. So, as we can see, fifty-eight percent of the company's revenue came from North America. Well, as revenues for countries outside of North America and Europe in quarter two, twenty twenty, grew the fastest at a rate of thirty one point eight percent. Now, I do believe this is because there has been a lesser percentage of people using it in other countries compared to North America and Europe. Now, as we can see, Snap's daily active users continued to grow in quarter two, twenty twenty, while its average revenue. Remained flat compared to the same quarter a year ago, which is one dollars and ninety one cents. Now, as we can see in quarter three twenty twenty's earnings report, there has still been a growth in the daily active users for Snapchat. However, we have to take a look at their average revenue. So, to calculate average revenue, we actually have to take Their total revenue generated was six hundred and seventy-eight million divided by the number of active users, which is about two hundred and forty-nine million. We will actually get two dollars and seventy cents, which is a very high growth compared to quarter two, twenty twenty. 
Now, if we take a look at Snapchat's recent developments, we can see that they are testing new designs for the Snapchat app, which could accelerate its path to profitability if successful. They also have SnapMap, which allows you to see where your friends are on the map. Well, this is a new feature that came in recently. I also tweeted about this. So the new update actually allows Snapchat users to add music to their snaps and videos on stories. I believe that this really gives a sort of like a TikTok experience. So if you ask me personally, I do think that Snapchat will be a good long term in the future. I do see it going up at least 20% from now. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment and even subscribe and turn on notifications.